Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. A couple of years ago, my artist friend gave me a hand with a couple of things, so I thought I'd make her a box to say thank you. It didn't take me two years to make a present for her, it just took me two years to get around to editing the video, so the workshop might look a little different. After cutting all the wood down for the front, back, sides, top and bottom, I could start with the joints. I'm going to joint it all using a box joint, using a table saw sled. The first cut sits over a pin that's the same width as the kerf of the blade. Then it's just a bit of a time consuming process moving along making all the cuts. It feels like it takes almost as long again getting glue in between all those fingers. The good thing about box joints is they tend to pull themselves square, but I just had a little check first before I got loads of clamps on and left it all to dry. After it dried, I just used a block plane to clean up the edges. And then it was time to get the top and bottom panels attached. So first I ran some glue around all the edges. And then the panels can be put on the top and the bottom and loads of clamps on. And then it will need to be left to dry again. I've left both the panels hanging over all ends so I can go back later and trim them off. I do this just using the bandsaw. Soften the edges a little, I use a round over bit in the router, going all around the top and the bottom of the box. And then it's onto the part I always find nerve wracking, cutting the lid off. Even though I'm scared I'm going to mess it up every time I do this, I still think it's the best method. As the top and the bottom of the box come from the same piece, it guarantees they're going to match up perfectly. Now an artist's box won't be much use without some dividers to put all the things like paints, brushes, pencils, whatever kind of stuff artists use. I should say, I can't draw for the life of me. So I cut down some more of the same wood to make the dividers and I want them to overlap each other. So I mark out where some notches need to be cut. I use the bandsaw just to cut down the straight lines and then I go back with a chisel and use that to remove the waste. After giving the joints a little clean up, some glue can go in them and the pieces can be slotted together. Some glue can then go on the underside of these pieces and the whole thing can be slotted into the box itself. I'm not using any other fastenings, just the wood glue, and that should be enough to hold some pencils in place. As these dividers don't reach all the way up to the lid, the pencils will fall out, so I want to make a tray to sit on top of them. Cut a piece down that sit on top of the dividers and then put some little blocks on the top of the lid that will go down and touch the tray to hold it in place. You'll see what I mean later. With that done, I can apply some tongue oil to finish the box. Time to start getting it all put together. So first I add a couple of butterfly hinges for the lid. Then the box needs a couple of straps. First a handle to carry the box and then I want a strap to go onto that little tray I made to hold a notebook. So I cut a couple of straps down and then use a strap end punch to put a nice shape on the edge. I can burnish the edges and then the handle can be attached to the front with some brass screws. The same can then be done to the tray and this is a dual purpose to help lift the tray out and hold a notebook in place. Now as this is a gift, I want to personalise it a little, so I cut down a little bit of brass to use as a plaque. And then I can use some metal punches to just punch out her name on it. I drill a little hole either end of the plaque and give it a file down to take any rough edges off. Then I roughly determine the centre of the lid and the plaque can be screwed in place. I also added a couple of catches to the front of the case, but must have forgot to film that. Well, I can tell you, she was pleased with this, and I actually quite fancy one myself for my little bits and bobs, but jobs for myself always go on the back burner. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.